Hello, this is Sharif Abu Zaid, and in this video, I will show you where you can host and upload your um, online courses videos and how to protect them and how to add your custom branding so they look professional to your students. If this is your first time um, building an online course, maybe the first place that will come to your mind is to use YouTube to host and upload your uh, online courses because YouTube is free of charge and everyone can access YouTube so you simply upload the video to YouTube and you just grab a link and add it to your online course but let me show you how this um, uh, will show uh, or let me show you how will this uh, will this be viewed in front of your students so um, this is a page that this is a course I built using Learn Dash plugin inside WordPress and I have just taken a link of one of the videos and added it to um, the lesson page. Whether you are adding it as a public video or even as an unlisted video. This is the experience your students will have. I mean, when they just go to the, the course page or the lesson page, they click uh, play. They, you can see, you know, they can see the branding of YouTube and they can just share. This is the word share in Arabic. They can ch just share it with your friends, even it is, uh, even if it is unlisted. And when they just, you know, stop the video, they may see um, a link to more videos. Um, and of course, simply they can just download the video to uh, their laptop and share it with their friends. So, hosting your uh, online course videos in YouTube is not the best option. To avoid this, you need to um, host or upload your videos into a dedicated service for hosting professional videos. One of the most um, two common options uh, or three options is this uh, are these ones. The first one is Vimeo. Vimeo is a, a well-known platform to host your videos. But as you can see, the starter plans is about like twelve um, US dollars a month and. Actually, maybe I'm, I'm not sure if you can use this plan to host your um, your course uh, videos. You need to be using the standard one, the standard package, which is like twenty dollars per month. This counts or up to 200, 240, 240 per year. And the second option will be Wistia, and Wistia is you know if you use the plus. Um, uh, the plus plan we have relatively the same price to host your own um, videos but when you go to bunny bunny.net is the hosting platform that I use to host all of my online courses content bunny uh, bunny.net is a new service I think it was started like two or three years ago it, it's relatively new but it has proven itself to be an amazing platform to host your own videos and when we go to the charges, it's simply like 4.5 per month for a standard tier. And actually, you don't pay for this. You pay for the traffic or the streaming. Uh, uh, the prices, uh, you pay for the prices for the gigabytes, how many replication points and the upload size video. I mean, there are different uh, tiers that you can use. You can actually pay like, I, I always pay like 10 or $15 uh bear like six months to host my own videos maybe less even for this so this is the um the recommended uh, uh, um, uh, the recommended uh, uh, plan or platform that i i like to use and let me show you the same video this is the video that i, I hosted inside youtube but when i host it in um in bunny.net and when i click just refresh as you can see, there is no branding of Bunny.net, there is no branding of YouTube and any other platform. And when I click, just, you know, um, play this. Let me just open the video, close the audio. I mean, there is no branding unless you add your own branding to the video. So how you can, you know, start the plan, what you can do is that you just go to Bunny.net, make sure that you, and the products, you choose the streaming, uh, Bunny Stream. Uh, service because bunny.net offers different um, services to host um, your website you know uh, media files pdfs uh, images and videos so basically you want to use the uh, bunny stream uh, bunny stream service and you just get started or click start your own 14 day free trial and you will have a an account so once you get 
log into your account, you will be looking for the stream uh, menu or sorry, stream submenu to um, in the left uh, menu. And here, as you can see, you can create what's called the video library. So, for example, if you are, if you have different websites, for me, I have like three websites: transitionpartner.com, academy, and training portal. I am trying to uh, create a video library for every website I have. But of course, but still, if you have like one website, you can maybe you need to divide the video library uh, according to your courses. Maybe you have like three or four courses. You can create video libraries for your different courses. This is how it goes. You simply click and add new, uh, add a, a video library, and let's name it like uh, library, library A. Um, here you can choose, um, you know, which places do you like to um, stream um, uh, your videos, which servers that uh, you need to be enabled because it depends on, I mean, it will have an effect in the price of the streaming um, uh, cost. So for this, the monthly cost, storage cost, like as you can see, it is less than a dollar per month for these, uh, I think, three servers. I just click and add video library and it will be created for me so now this is the video library now you can simply upload the files here but still you can add collections so we can have subfolders inside the video library itself um let me show you what i did with my streaming this is one of my let me show you one of my video libraries this is the training portal of our translation company we have, as you can see, we have like one, two, three, I think 14, this is 20, like 15 maybe collections. So a collection can be a subfolder under the video library where you can add different um, videos. For example, we have like an SEO course, we have a how to use Outlook, search um, uh, Google Search Console. We have all these courses, so we have divided our video library into different collections and each collection includes its own uh, videos so um, you just simply add a collection let's say this is for uh, wordpress funnels course and let me check this one and you just create click create and here you can simply upload the files to be added into this um, con um, this uh, video collection uh, the other main uh, settings that you need to check out is the player. Here you can, you know, customize how the videos look like inside your own website. You can choose the uh, primary player colors. You can caption appearance if you are adding captions. Maybe the UI language if you are, you know, using French or Finnish or German. You can change the UI language, the controls of the videos and do other some other you know play or player controls like the you need to show the progress bar make it full screen or big play button etc you can make a few other customizations here which you cannot do with youtube uh, the other uh, important feature is the security feature so yes everyone we are doing our best to protect our um, online course videos of course you no know, i mean if if someone wants to to download the videos they will just do some extra effort to download them but we are doing our best so uh, one of the settings that you need to maybe you need to enable is you can just you know enable direct uh, play and also you can add your own domain so if you add uh, your domain under the allowed domains this video you cannot be played in um, in any other domain only in this um, domain so um, after you make all these settings of after you set up all these settings and you add your videos. Let me show you how you can um, take the video and add it to your own website. Uh, let me check. Let me take one of our videos. Let me take this video. So this is a video, and you simply open the video. These are the the um, default settings that you have set before. Uh, of course, you can make a few changes here. But simply, what you do to embed the video inside your own website is that you take we copy. You copy the input code from here and let's go to one of our lesson pages and let's edit the lesson and you simply add you click in the plus button and 
look for custom HTML and you add it here and you add the embed button and you click update click update and let's view the listen again and here it is this is this is the video uh, that I have taken from our video library uh, and if you are using um, Elementor to um, to set up your or to design your listen pages there is another widget maybe I think it's called HTML also you can just drag and drop it and you add the same embed code so as you can see, this is how easily and um, uh, efficiently you can host your own website videos. As I mentioned, you can you can host them in, in Vimeo, Wistia, and Budded or um, Budded.net or Budstream, which is the service that I use. And I think this is an, a cost-effective uh, streaming service, and it provides many features to protect your own um, website, and you don't have your own videos, and you don't have to pay a fortune to host your videos. So um, I hope you found this um, video helpful and if you found it helpful, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, share the video with friends, colleagues and family members and everyone that you think may find this useful. Thanks so much and see you in the next video. Bye for now.